Good afternoon. This is uh, session three, multiplying two by two polynomials for at-home learning, May 11th. Uh, this is method two. If you read the first one, we're going to go over uh, the next uh, method. Same problems. Um, your session threes have been working with monomials and polynomials. So some points to remember is x plus x is 2x but x times x equals x squared. Now we're gonna combine adding, subtracting, and multiplying all in one problem. Um, we're not going to bother with that because this is done completely different. This is method two for you science peeps. This is your pundit square. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a box and we are going to do x plus 4 up here, and we are going to do x plus 1 here. Now, this is, um, I find that some people, uh, they lose their signs when they do this. However, we're going to fill in the boxes just like you did in uh, Hagerman's class. So you're going to go x times x is x squared. You're going to do x times 4 is 4x. You're then going to do 1 times x, which is 1x, and 1 times 4, which is 4. To get your answers, you go down the diagonals, and so you have x squared down that diagonal, 4x and 1x is 5x, and 4 down the last diagonal. Um, I prefer the method one just because this, you tend to drop signs. Okay, so again, doing the pundit square, I do x plus five down this one. Oops, kind of a funky box. And then I do three x and plus seven. So the first one I do is x times 3x times x, which is 3x squared. Then I do 3x times 5, which is 15x. I then come down to the next one and I do positive 7 times x, which is 7x. And positive 7 times 5, which is positive 35. I then go down my diagonals. And so I have 3x squared. This diagonal is plus 22x and plus 35. So if you have done the pundit squares of genetics in um, Hagerman's or Wolf's class or Stoner's class, this, these will be the same thing. Now the issue is when we get into the negatives, x minus five, and then you do your boxes. This is where some people if you're not conscious and write x and a negative 2, it causes some problems. So the first one is x times x, which is x squared. Then we do x times neg negative 5. I even tried to mess that sign up as negative 5x. And then we come down and we do, we do negative 2 times x, which is a negative 2x and a negative two times a negative five, which is a negative ooh, 10, which is a positive 10. Sorry about that, caught myself. Okay, now we go down the diagonals. That's x squared. That's negative five x and negative two x is negative seven x and a positive 10. Either way you do them, you should end up with the same answer. Pundit square again, x plus four. We get this big old square. We have 2x minus 1. I do 2x times x, which is 2x squared. I do 2x times positive 4, which is positive 8x. I do negative 1 times x, which is negative x. I do negative 1 times positive 4, which is negative 4. I come down my diagonals, which is 2x squared. Positive 8x and minus x is minus ooh, positive 7x. I'll try to mess that one up too. And minus 4. 
sometimes terms will disappear. Um, you x plus 7, x minus, ooh, didn't even do try to do the Punnett square. Let me erase that. Still doing Punnett squares. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go. And then we do this, and we do x and a negative 7. And we do x times x, which is x squared, x times positive 7, which is positive 7x. We then come to negative 7 times x, which is negative 7x, and negative 7 times a positive 7, which is a negative 49. Going down the diagonals, which is x squared, a positive 7x and a negative 7x cancels out, and I have a negative 49. Same thing, use method one or use method two, whichever one you would be more successful at.